Good morning everyone, we're here in Rotorua. We have these mountain bikes and we're about to go do some mountain biking. Check this out. So far, so good! So we're here, and obviously we are doing the easy trail, the beginner trail, because we're not professional. Well, Melina. I'm not a professional. And so far, so good. It is tough though, so if, if you think you're good, think again because it's really, really hard. But I'm proud of myself. Me too, I'm proud of you, Meli. Okay, so we're here in Rotorua, Roto, which means lake, and Rua, which means two, the number two, in Maori here. And so right now we're walking, we're going and visit the thermal activities here. Take a look. In all Rotorua, it smells like sulfuric acid. I just put my hand here, gets wet immediately. It's hot, hot. The legend says that in this lake there was a lady, a Maori lady, that used to swim here. One day something really bad happened to her. And the legend says that the gods were so angry that they made the lake boil. Oh my god, check this out. This is crazy. This is crazy, guys. These are manuka trees. Manuka in Maori means tea tree. And this is where you can get tea tree oil. This is the, the oil comes out of these trees. And apparently it's a very good tree to burn with in the winter. I always make big news because we don't have a lot of news, you know. We don't, <laughs> there's not that much going on, you know. It's peaceful if you here. Look, yeah, if you yeah. look at the news, you watch the news at six o'clock, it's mostly about the rest of the world. There's yeah. nothing about going home. You know? mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it's, it's a real fun. easy country. You know? yeah. yeah. What made you pick New Zealand, like as in, how did you find out about New Zealand and make you want to come here? Well, of course, like, I mean, I mean... You hear of your friends you, or you know? just you looked it up or...? I mean, I've been here at six years ago to study. Mm. Yeah, but he's I asking really you why. Enjoy it. Mm. Yeah. Why did you pick New Zealand six to years come ago? Back to. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I saw Lord of the Rings and... Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know, yeah. like... <laughs> and yeah. I, I don't know, we, we yeah. heard about Australia, we hear, we hear about other countries in New Zealand, we don't really hear about yeah. it. But yeah. it's so, um, it's yeah. so amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. No, I love it. It's great, you know, from the, from the top to the bottom, you've got a really relaxed, got a really, really quiet, relaxed lifestyle up in the north. Yeah. And then as you progress, you go down through Auckland and then down into the dairy area, you know, all around here is the dairy belt with the, cow, the cattle and the, the dairy. And then when you get down to Wellington, to the capital, you, it's busy. Yeah. You go across the strait and there's nothing. You, know? you, you been, you're going to the South Island? We're going. We're going uh, to... Have you been here before? No, no. never. Oh, fantastic. Tell you what, you the it. North Island Why? is... When you go to the South Island, it's like going to a different country it's, again. It is a different country. It's like a different yeah. country and no one lives there. So, all, you've been to Auckland, I guess. Yeah, yeah we so were. Auckland, yeah. 1.5 million people. More people live in Auckland than live in the South entire Island. South, Island. South Island. And the South yeah. Island is bigger than the North Island. So when you go down there, you're going to have so much space and it's going to be so relaxed. And you've got 
the mountains that go right, you know, right through mountains, the spine of the you know, you got the Alps, you know, the southern Alps go yeah. right through the middle, got the plains, you got mm. so different to the north. Uh, island. Right here, like, right yeah, here, nice. it's called the Fitzgerald Clay. Uh, like, it's quite nice. I like it. Don't you think? It's pretty, bro. A lot of native trees. How do you like it, man? I love it. It's so nice and warm. It's really warm. Good morning, everyone. We're here in Raglan today, and so we'll be taking a little tour with you guys. Tag along. These carrots are delicious. memory. I don't know, like, don't know. or the difference between now and before, I don't know. Now and before. Man, he's exactly the same. Hasn't changed at all. I'm the same. Same Pablo. What about me? Adam, you look uh, like like uh, the same also, man. So yeah. kind and so, uh, so uh, such a nice guy. Thanks, man. I'm happy to have you back. Glad to see you. Thanks, bro. Me too. So there's supposed to be a bunker here? Yeah. Old war bunker around the corner. So this is it. They would have had, obviously it would have been up, right? Yeah. Gun in here or something? I suppose, walk in there. Maybe it was up there when it started. Who knows? Big storm, eh? Come and wash it down. In Raglan, we were told to come to this shop for the best fish and chip. We'll see. We're going to try it right now. Let's have a look. Oh my god. That looks good. Snapper. Miller's hot dog. That's a fish and chip. It's so fresh that it's ripping. Oh, <laughs> tap that there. That's it. Right Dunk in that. Get a chip. The birds want some chips. Okay, so I'm trying this right now. Look, it falls off. And then we just dip Dunk it in. Dunk it in, yeah. Mmm. Good. Really good. Good. It's so good. Oh my God. 
Thank you. So Pablo, why don't you uh, uh, tell us where we're going? We're now, we're, we're now we're in Tauronga, um, so we're going to Mount Manui, and uh, that's it. I'm, yeah. I'm with my bro. And we're at the Papamoa Beach. Yeah. So we're gonna look and we're like gonna go check that out. So what do you think about this one-year trip that we're gonna do? Oh, it's actually pretty great. I want to do something like this in the future myself. But then, you know, you get uh, stuck with life and you get really busy and you sort of forget about it again. And then some, you know, like you guys came around again and it makes me want to do it too. Oh. So, it's pretty good, you know, it's like a life-changing trip for you guys, I would say. Yeah, it's gonna be really helpful during our life in the future. You won't regret it, so. So guys, I've been walking for about 20 minutes to get to the top and I keep joking about it but I'm serious. If I don't have a nice butt after this trip, I don't know what I could do to have it. Look at these steps. So guys, we made it, and even though my butt is probably never gonna look as good as, I don't know, my expectations, the view is worth it. 50 minutes up, guys. Pretty good. I am eating the traditional kebab here in Toronto. It looks delicious. Thanks bro. A mix of lamb and chicken. And chicken. Delicious. Huh? With all kinds of yummy vegetables. The bird paradise. We are in Mata Mata, Mara Mara, as they say, as they pronounce it. And this is Hobbiton, basically. So, also, like in Lord of the Rings. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Now I wanted to take a minute to thank everyone who made this trip possible. First, thanks to Albie and Tracy Ellis for hosting us in their beautiful home. I also wanted to thank all of my bros in New Zealand 
Azile and his wife who brought us to Rotorua and lent us her car, Adam Grinter who brought us to Raglan and made us try delicious fish and chips. Last but not least, thanks to Kevin and his mom from K1 Barber Shop in Toronga who made us try amazing kebabs and brought us around Toronga. That's it guys. Now if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now here's a little preview of what's coming up next.